hey, Ghostbusters fans, thought I'd give you a quick demonstration of the movie PKE circuit. I'll just uh, power it up here so you can uh, take a look and see it go. Oh. Um, you'll notice there's a little boot up sequence when it starts up. The uh, if you touch LEDs, it'll light up. Um, okay, so the PK is now powered up and uh, the lights are not on. The mode lights are not blinking or anything. Um, so let's take the touch switch here and hold it down. And that is the full extension. This is the half extension. Now there's no sound playing at the moment because the sound is not ready. But uh, I'll just show you here that the sound is actually functioning. Right now there's no um, there's no variation of the volume or the pitch or anything implemented, and uh, half the sound isn't there. So I leave that off for the moment. So now it's ended halfway, and if I flip the mode switch, you can. Oops, <laughs> I'm looking at the screen. <laughs> uh, you can see the uh, yellow mode LED is now lit. If I flip it back. Green mode LED is now lit, and you'll notice the display changes uh, the animation as well. Now I let that go back. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, the dip switches are there. So if I flip the first dip switch, that puts the PKE into expert mode where um, touching these touch switches will extend the wings varying amounts. So if I touch this one a little bit, it goes a little bit. As I touch it, it continues to, uh, the wings continue to extend and the speed continues to increase. Um, I want to work a little bit on the uh, sensitivity of these. When you get up into the higher speeds, it goes from like, almost nothing to being really fast in a short span of time. Uh, that's because the uh, speed control is linear, so I'm going to uh, try and put like a logarithmic or uh, exponential speed control um, into there so that uh, you'll be able to go and adjust it more finely as you approach the higher speeds. And uh, reducing the speed now. And all the lights are off, except for the power LED, which lets you know that you haven't turned off the power switch. Um, people wanted that to stay on, so I've done that. Um, the last thing to show you, I guess, is the uh, flipping this dip switch again. Uh, position number two sets the uh, mode LEDs so that they don't blink. Um, if I flip this back, you'll see it's now blinking again. And uh, that works for the yellow LED as well. So uh, there you go. The uh, speed control at this time is uh, not implemented. It doesn't do anything yet. But uh, that will be uh, selectable by the by the uh, dip switches. You'll be able to um, select a mode where you control the speed of the LEDs with the speed control knob, and you control the wing extensions with the touch switches. Oh, one last thing. Um, I'll extend these all the way. Oh, they're already extended all the way. Um, I'll turn the uh, trim pot so you can see these adjust. The trim pot adjusts the full extension. Um, when they're in the resting position, they uh, the trim pot, they're always at a zero position. So you can see that I'm adjusting the right servo. There we go. 
I got the left there, bro. So, um, I guess that's it. Um, I'll leave the sign here again for you. And that'll sound nicer once it uh, has more variety to it and changes in pitch and volume. And I add the uh, the second sound that goes in the background. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it.